In this video, we're going to learn how to zest citrus. So in order to learn how to zest citrus, we have to understand the components of citrus. Uh, so we're gonna use an orange today. Uh, you can zest a whole lot of different types of citrus because um, they're all gonna have essentially the same components. So we're gonna look at the three different parts of the citrus fruit. The inside is our flesh. Around the outside is our pith. The pith is going to be pretty bitter and you can see it's, it's a pretty thick layer there. What we're really after is the very thin layer of this very brightly colored zest that runs all the way around the outside. All right, so uh, we're gonna review two different ways to zest citrus uh, in this video. Uh, we're gonna do a fine zest uh, using a, a fine plain uh, zester, and then we're gonna do a, a little bit of a thicker zest. Um, so to use our, uh, our fine plane, um, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, anchor the plane on the board, and we're gonna rotate the citrus just to remove that very outside layer. And you can see I have this really nice uh, light orange here, and you can see I've removed that, that darker outside zest and not dug in. What I don't want to do is start really digging in. You see how I've dug into my pith there? I've gotten into that white. Number one, it's not going to add any orange flavor, uh, which is what we're trying to get from the zest is that bright orange flavor. But it's also going to uh, be a little bit bitter because that uh, bitterness lives in the zest. So I just want to do my nice, easy turns around. So you'll see sometimes I pull it back to me and look, and I'm just trying to see where I've gotten, and you can see I've, I've left a little bit of zest here so I can go back around. And you see now I got all that zest off. So collect this zest on my board. You can see I have this nice zest. So I think that's important uh, when zesting, especially doing this fine zest like this, is if we're going to be using this, let's say in a salad dressing, I want to zest right over the bowl or right into the bowl that I'm actually gonna be mixing my dressing in. Because as we zest, we release a lot of essential oils uh, from the citrus skin. And when we zest over the bowl, those oils release and then they fall into the bowl instead of falling onto our cutting board. So if we were gonna be doing this uh, for a salad dressing or something, do it over the bowl that you're uh, going to be using the product in. For a thicker zest, we can use a vegetable peeler. I really like the Y-shaped peelers, but it'll, peelers, but it'll work with any type of peeler. And what we want to do is we want to hold the, the fruit with our thumb anchored at the bottom and pull the peeler towards us to get nice long strips of zest. And you can see I've done the same thing where I haven't dug into the white like I did on this side, but just got that really bright orange uh, zest off of the top. So if I wanted to make maybe um, a sauce or something where I wanted a little bit of orange flavor, but maybe I didn't want the whole pieces of zest, I could just throw a big piece of zest like this right into the sauce, let it cook, and then pull it out before I'm serving. But maybe I, I did want uh, a more edible size piece, something that's maybe bigger than my, um, my fine zest here. What I could do is I could just go ahead and julienne these strips, and then I have smaller pieces of my zest. Okay. So those are gonna be the different uh, ways that uh, we're going to zest our citrus. So just to review, when we're zesting, we wanna make sure to lightly zest and not dig into the pith. Next, when we're zesting a product, it's always better to do it over the bowl or product that we're going to be using the zest in to help catch those oils that are released. And third, use a big piece of zest and then remove it before serving, or use smaller pieces of zest and incorporate them into the product that you're using.